friends, welcome back. Today we are headed to a prenatal appointment and they're gonna do, you know, an ultrasound and some blood tests. I'm gonna get some fluids, which I'm excited about because I always feel better after I get the fluids here. Um, and I think that's what we're getting into today. So I'm gonna take you along with me and then we also, have a try on haul. I'm excited to be partnering with Pink Blush Maternity. They sent me a few pieces to try. I actually have a lot of their regular line of clothing, but they make maternity and non-maternity clothes and it's amazing. I'm so excited to be working with them because they have quality clothes at an affordable price. So I'm gonna show you what some of those pieces are. I have one on right now and of course I love it. I went for comfy and uh, casual pieces that I know I will wear with many different outfits and they are having a huge Black Friday sale going on so I will leave all of that information in the description box as well as a coupon code and all of that fun stuff so I'm gonna take you to the appointment I'm gonna do that try and haul with you today head on into this appointment I'm excited to see baby and I'm excited to uh, find out the gender because we are finding that out today. I don't know how I'm going to share that with you, but yay, let's get going. I've made it to the appointment. I had to stop and talk to you all because there were so many people texting and driving and maybe this makes me sound old, but holy cow, is that not the most like selfish thing ever? I got so mad. There's this girl and she cut off like maybe four or five people. She parked in the same lot as me and she got out and she's in scrubs. Good Lord. I hope she's not a doctor or a nurse because that is so unacceptable and selfish and it's a it, it's you know it's a long drive so you're bound to go you know run into bad drivers and I am not the most perfect driver I am more cautious than anything I've always been but like even uh, this is a population that I love but the elderly population they need to get retested I think I'm not really sure but they that's a population that just wings it really a lot of them just wing it and just go for it. I feel like they close their eyes and they're like, meh. <laughs> so I don't know. I just, ugh. it's a beautiful drive, but you have to, I, I have said this before on the channel. I really don't like that. I have to be, I guess, looking out for other drivers. Like I, I see that they're driving erratically and I'm like, they're probably gonna, you know, swerve into my lane. I don't like that. I have to anticipate that. I just want to drive safely. And I will say people ask, is Colorado or Pennsylvania worst? Uh, if you go down to like Philly area, it's, it's pretty bad, but in my hometown, it, I mean, there wasn't a lot of places to go fast with, but I, in high school, dated some guys that really loved cars and they would drive really fast on back roads at night and that was terrifying. But other than that, you know, it wasn't that bad, but I'd say Colorado has got to be worse because of the transplants. There's a lot of people from California here and Texas and I don't know. I, I don't really know why it's like this, but wow, is it selfish? And then the stories my husband tells me about people that, you know, he arrests or he has to cite for like reckless driving and you know it's shocking to me how many people have kids in the car when he's telling me the story i'm like what i don't know but yeah i'm gonna head into this appointment gonna go get some fluids i'm pretty excited about that i don't like needles but i'm excited to get some fluids because um you know i feel like death lately so i got some of these sour worms I only like the blue and orange ones though, so I'm gonna try these. I haven't had like sugary candies in a while. Sodium 55, sugars 14 grams, and added sugars 20. Oh. So we're really just doing it, doing it up. But I was really hoping to like 
find some sort of, I don't know, relief here, something like Zofran, but the problem with Zofran is then you need all these other things, like you need, like there's a prescription and you need a prescription for your prescription, then a prescription for that prescription, and that is the problem with the pharmaceutical industries, as I'm sure you know, but... We're gonna head into this appointment. I will see you afterwards. I thought about going to a thrift store, but I just really, I'm not, I'm not feeling my best self. So let's go in there and see this baby. So I uh, lost consciousness when they were taking my blood. This is not the first time it's happened. I was just trying to power through it. They say to distract yourself, like scratch your leg or tap or do something, but I thought I was gonna do it, but I didn't. We are driving into a real Wild West windstorm up coming here. There are so many tumble beans, as Wilder calls it, uh, but it's like playing Frogger on this road here, but you can see it just gets so windy. And I just said to my neighbor today, I hope the wind doesn't take the leaves off the trees today because they were such a beautiful color. I guarantee you tomorrow morning they're not going to be like this, but wow, is she cloudy. We're going to head home and I'm going to do that try on haul for you and tell you a little bit about the appointment. Okay, here's everything that I got from pink blush and like i said they have maternity and they have regular clothing i tried to pick staples for a capsule wardrobe so that just means pieces that are good quality and you can use with different outfits so we all know i get a sweater every single year i usually get it in the beginning of the year when i do teaching but i didn't get one this year so this is a really nice warm off-white sweater i got it in a medium it does have some deep pockets here and the best part about it is it is long enough to cover your butt and that is so important to me because i wear leggings all the time the next piece is this beautiful maternity dress. It grows with you. I got a medium, but I could have gotten a small. I feel like this is super durable. It has really beautiful material. It's lined, as you can see, and I am just loving this dress. It has so many options. It has this square back neckline, and it has like that subtle puff sleeve, but it just makes me feel elegant. I paired it with my Jeffrey Campbell Western style boots. I love those boots great investment if you're ever looking for a pair of boots i actually got mine thrifted but back to this gorgeous dress like i said it grows with the bump when i am pregnant i'm looking for items that have that empire style waist and the breast line also grows with you so that's really nice too and as you can see i'm pairing it with this sweater once again i think this really complements the blue color i'm glad i picked blue it makes my eyes pop and i also wanted to show you that you could put something over top of this this sweater actually adjusts as you can see but i've learned that you can put a belt underneath the sweater if you have a long one and then tuck it up underneath the belt to make it more cropped and it just adds an extra layer say you're making these maternity photos during the winter time but i love this i think it is gorgeous and I'm just happy to have a staple piece like that in my wardrobe Okay, now back to dresses. I wanted something a bit more casual that I can wear day to day. Yes, I stay at home with the kids, but I like popping on a dress, doing my hair, getting ready. It just makes me feel put together. It makes me feel beautiful, um, and that's what's important. So as you can see, this one is growing with me as well. I picked my Lane embroidered boots. I love these as well. I am a sucker for a good shoe, and I also also picked this Sherpa shacket I guess you could call it it's just a warmer take on a shacket and I went with a medium in this and they have so many color options and different colorways for their shackets they have just an incredible selection probably the best that I have seen at an affordable price but I just love this dress as you can see I'm going to pair it with this sweater again but I wanted something that I could just kick on some boots with I can run to the store in this and I just feel put together. 
And this is great because I will be pregnant in the spring. So when it starts to warm up here in Colorado again, it will be nice just to pop on with a band t-shirt. This was my staple teacher attire. I always wore just a long, uh, modest dress like this or skirt, and I put on one of my favorite band tees. It was just a way to jazz it up a little bit. You could even put some high top sneakers with this, but once again, I'm just loving that color, especially for this season. And then last but not least, I got this plaid jacket, and I will say I thought it was going to be a bit lighter. I'm happy it's not, though, because it has this silk lining, and it's just comfy, comfy and warm. I paired it with my faux leather leggings. This is one of those Spanx dupes, and I will link it in my Amazon store. And I ended up trying to dress it up a little bit with the Gucci buckle boots. I was lucky enough to do a trade with these boots. I have been eyeing them up, and I wanted something with quality, so I was happy to find these. I would not uh, go out and just buy these on a whim, but I think it makes this jacket just pop a little bit it just gives that dressed up look so i am loving this i will leave all of pink blushes information in the description box down below do not forget that they are having a huge black friday sale and you can use my discount code just follow all those links in the description box as always stay adventurous stay creative and i'll catch you on the next one bye everyone crowns packed but i'm all right gonna let myself let go i didn't live up to his standards but he didn't come close to mine i was too much for him to handle yeah right i wasn't his kind of a woman didn't fit into his mold but i don't need his approval so he can't Yeah. yeah, all right. Boom. <laughs> I wasn't his kind of a woman.